Well, we are back once again to talk about our upcoming sermon, which is going to be over Ruth chapter 3, and we have gone through so much in the first couple of chapters. I mean, it's, it's really amazing how much there is to learn from this, this story about this foreign woman who, you know, she comes to Israel uh, not really knowing who she is or who she's going to be, and we begin to discover and find that out along with her, who she's going to be. And this week, that continues. Um, her relationship with Boaz continues, and it, it ends on kind of like a, a, a cliffhanger at the end of chapter 3. What is going to happen? Naomi seems very confident. She has changed in her character so much. She has gone from a, a woman in the very beginning who seems to trust God to the end of chapter 1 where she is in despair. She's bitter about uh, what's what's going on in her life, and she has every reason to be. I mean, some terrible things have happened. But then to the end of chapter 2, where she is once again praising God. I mean, things have gone very differently for her. And now in this chapter, whereas in chapter 2, she was very, you know what, I'm not going to do anything for whatever reason. Now she is urging and prompting Ruth, okay, go do this, go do that. Um, it's time to make this happen. And so it's fun to watch her journey. It's fun to watch the journey of Ruth, and especially this week as she, again, comes into contact more with Boaz and what's going to happen with their relationship and and of course, if you've read to the end of Ruth, you know how it all ends. Uh, but for those who haven't, or you know, if you're kind of taking this, trying to look at it with fresh eyes, a new perspective, it's fun to think, okay, I'm going to set aside what I know happens and just take the story as it comes. You know, maybe each week it's kind of like an episode of, of TV or something like that where you're not quite sure what's coming next. Um, this chapter is really rich, just like the other chapters we've been reading. And so uh, read ahead, uh, chapter 3 get to know these characters even more. Notice the things that are said about Boaz, the kind of person that he is. We're going to talk a lot about that, about the kind of man that he must have um, uh, really been because he would have been known in the community as this kind of person. And I'm really looking forward to diving into all of this with you. So read ahead chapter three, come prepared. I hope to see you uh, Sunday and I hope that you have a great and blessed rest of the week.